Hi guys, I've been busy. Yep, I've just got the one task left, which is just terminate that end of cable into that socket and uh, Bob's your uncle. I could have actually put that socket further that way, but that's fine there. Um, well, actually, matter of, as a matter of fact, I could have actually sat up right beside that socket. It wouldn't have mattered, but that'll do. It's going to do the job. Um, it's not like uh, I'm going to have shitloads of things on at the same time. I'll only turn things on as w and when I want to play with them. So, you know, I'm not going to use all the consoles at the same time, am I? Or all of these PCs. I want just clear those cars off that window ledge as well, because I'm, uh, I want the space up there. Uh, right. Um, I can't turn power off yet. Because I don't know which one of the four circuit breakers that operate sockets does the bedroom. And I've got this installing updates. And I've got that on, so I don't particularly want to uh, turn this off. Because the battery's wanked on this, it doesn't work. Doesn't hold charge, doesn't charge, doesn't do anything. Although according to that the battery is charged, but according to that the battery's not. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Not that you can actually see it very clearly. So yeah, I'm just going through the updates. Um, just got a couple of things to install on this. This is actually the second time I've installed Windows 7 on this. I tried it last night, but something went wrong. And it just wasn't functioning right when um, I had it running and tried to... It kept coming up with an error when I was um, running the updates, but... It uh, seems to have fixed it this time, because I didn't get it. It's all gone according to plan. So, fingers crossed. Oh. I'm filling up rubbish. Now I've got, I've got um, four circuit breakers up here, all labelled as sockets. Um, I've got this one, which has actually been scribbled out and it just says sockets. Hang on. That's a 16 amp. And I've got the shaver socket, which is a 6 amp breaker. Uh, my water heater is on a 16 amp breaker, and the shower's on a 32. And this little lot has got its own RCD here. Uh, and then this lot has got its own RCD, and I've got sockets with an L here. I don't know what the L means, I don't know if that means lounge, but it's on a 32 amp breaker, as is the cooker. Obviously, the cooker should be. Um, but I don't know why that set of sockets is on a 32 amp breaker. The smoke alarm is on the lighting circuit, which is what they normally do, which is fine. And then I've got another two sockets here. There and there, which is uh, both on 16 amp breakers. So I think when I'm able to, I'll um, plug something in in each room and then flip the sockets off and then stick a little initial on them or something so I know myself which socket does what, or which socket, which breaker does what. Uh, I've got a funny feeling that 32 amp breaker might be on the kitchen. Uh, but yeah, for the time being I can't do much. Um, I'm going to try and walk that sofa out of here and onto the landing on my own. I sh um, I'll move this bollard and whatnot down here. I should be able to wiggle it through and prop the door open with something. I'm just going to stand up on end on the landing for now. till I can, I don't know, chop the bloody thing up or get an extra pair of hands to take it down the stairs. Um, because it's doing my head in. And I've actually got a bit of an issue up here as well. I don't think I can slide down there very well. <laughs> so when it comes to decorating the window up for Christmas, that might be in.
problem. Um, I have started emptying this, ready to move it. And I chucked all the games in this box, because this box has got a lot of the um, Amstrad stuff in it, so I thought oh, I'll just chuck it in here and take the box through. Sort it out when it's in the bedroom. Uh, now I need to leave the radio antenna down here. Because that's why I'm going to leave the radio. I've already decided that. Because um, I'm going to put the coffee table back in. So, preferably, before 5 o'clock, I'd like to uh, get this out on the landing. Out of my way. Uh, this should only take like 10 minutes just to connect that cable up. Might be a bit tricky to tap a hole in the side for the cable entry, but I'm sure I can think of something. But I ain't doing it live. I'm daft, not stupid. That and I've had my fair share of shocks in my time, and I don't particularly want one. But, uh, I suppose I could clear those cars off. I have got a tray under the bed. Um, really need to go through all my die casts and see which ones I really want to keep. So I don't really want to get rid of all of them, but there's so many I've got that I aren't really interested in. <sighs> Um, I bought a brand new double socket today. It was only two pound fifty nine. Um, well, it was either that or I went and spent one ninety nine on another single socket and put two single sockets in there, but which would have been more work. But I thought for the extra sort of fifty sixty p, I might as well have just gone for the double socket. So I did. I'm actually using a. Um, back box for a shaver socket, but it does the same job. The edges don't quite meet up from the face plate and the actual um, box, but it does the job. You can't get your fingers in there to touch anything. There's a bit of a thick um, flex I've used. Uh, I may if I remember to bring some back from Mum's, just put a bit of trunking across there. That shouldn't be too hard to do because I just pick those um, cable clips out because it's only a soft wall. And I drilled the holes in the wall for that, and um, with that rather. Okay, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm going to Mum's till tomorrow. Well, I know it won't be. Um, if I go to Mum's tomorrow, and I'll bring a length of trunking back, which I'll hope will fit in that gap. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to get a few more jobs done, and I'll return. So, um, we'll see you in a... Well, I've definitely been a busy bee. Well, that's back in place. That's back in place. Didn't really have to move that. In fact, I could lay that extension socket, um on this bottom shelf, or on the bottom shelf of this actually, you can just push that back that way a little. Um, yes, there's a lot of mess everywhere because I decided to chop the sofa to bits. Well, what's left of the frame is out on the landing ready to go down. And as you can see, I've actually decided to put the table this end. Reason being, there was enough room to slide the table that far. Um, down that wall so I can actually get room, room to get down the window. <laughs> um, stereo is going to go up there. I don't know why I'm going to put the second speaker yet, but I'll think of something. Got to run the aerial lead along the back of that shelf to that end. And I've got to have a look at this extension socket because I slid it across the floor and it went bang and tripped out the sockets. So, um, I've got to take these two screws out. I've got to do that while I've got the camera on. Uh, as soon as I can find a screwdriver. <laughs> I can see several screwdrivers, just not the one I want. Ah, here we go. I found the one I want. 
Okay. Because I need this. <laughs> um, let me sit you there. Get somewhere. Excuse the fact I've got my shirt off. I'm sweating like a pig. You can see my boobs. Get these bloody screws off. It's nearly eight o'clock. It's about time I stopped and had some dinner, but I just want to get the um, layout back in place on this table at the very least tonight. Because um, I want to do much more. Got a few rubbish bags to go downstairs. I'm not actually sure what went bang. All the wires are intact. My wiring's fine, so that's not what the problem was. Can't see no dirt in there. Perhaps the neon blue, because I can actually hear something rattling in there. And it was this end that actually um, tapped into this when I slid it across the floor. So maybe it's burst the neon and... Um, no, that one looks intact, doesn't it? It's hard to see, though. Um, can't take the rest of it apart, can we? I don't know whether to go and just flick the power on or and see if it works again. But something did go pop in this. Um, let's just slide that on top. I'll plug that in as well. <laughs> Shall I? Shall we see if we can make some fireworks is going to do one or two things, it's either going to work or it's going to go around, so... Power's on. LED is on. That's on. Okay. Don't know what that was in. <laughs> it's working now. Right, I'll put the cover back on then and that's where that can stay. Um, Yeah, that's where I'll leave that. Or I might actually drag it so it's underneath the table. Um, that means I'm going to need to move the spotlights, which isn't hard really. Just disconnect them from that switch and pretty much screw it up over there. Yeah, and, um, And, um, I don't know if I've got any more of these left though. I don't matter if I haven't. I've got some normal cable clips I can use those, but um, yeah, and I might just run a, an actual extension lead to that. Cause I do need that down there somewhere. I might actually find a replacement for that. Um, one that I can wire on to the end like that because there might be something gotten inside it because like I said I can hear something rattling so it might have, um, something inside that might be rattling around and uh, short something out over there, and I think there's still one in the bathroom. <sighs> uh, I'll do 
few of those later, I can't be asked to do them now. I've still got a few bits to bag up as well and take down. Um, so I'm going to bring the coffee table in here, but I'm a bit stuck. Do I put it on the end here? Or on the end of this one. Keeping in mind I want access behind there. I might try it on the end here. Um and if there's enough room for me to squeeze down there then that's where I'll leave it. box can come out for a bit. I might, um, I might drag that table through here in a bit and see what it's going to be like up this co in this section here. If it's going to fit it, then I'll leave it in and I'll have to move it. Um, turn them bloody things off now, like these. Yeah, uh, I'm going to start putting the uh, turn back on. When I can remember where uh, everything went. <laughs> oh yeah, I can. That's right. I can. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll start with my big building there. Now, I'm absolutely fucking knackered. Oops. Absolutely knackered. And I'm still far from finished. <sighs> Absolutely still. Why don't your mum keep nagging me to get a sofa? I could. That cabinet can move up about another half a foot or more. So if I had to, I could get a very small two seater sofa to put in there. I might reduce the echo in here as well. Um. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll have plenty of sockets over there as well. For the window display, that is. And I've got two down there and there'll be two there because one of those lights won't be there. Um, oh yeah. When I um, opened up my socket in the bedroom to uh, connect the new one to it, I was expecting to find two cables going to the socket, as you would on a ring main. But for some reason, that one down in that corner has only got the one cable. So I don't know why the electrician that wired this flat up decided to do it that way. I suppose the reason's best known to himself. Yes, I know. We'll get fed in a minute when I can get in the kitchen. I only just realised my French friend has written on that one. Oh. Yeah, not the list when I uh go in the bed. Right. I suppose I should crack on, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crack on, so there will be one last segment recorded to go on the end of this, so um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm calling it quits for the day now. <sighs> I'm knackered. But, uh, I didn't realise that coffee table was actually much lower than this, so I've stuck it up there just as an extra table. And I'll probably put my stereo on that. Um, I don't, I'll do that tonight because I'm absolutely fucked. <laughs>
That does mean I can get rid of that aerial because the radio antenna is only <laughs> Well, so I've got access to the window at least. Oh yes, Nemo wants his food. I've just tripped over a load of Lego models, so I'm going to have to... Uh, to uh, sort that out. Uh, all the rubbish bags are down. I've gone around with the G-Tech quickly just to get the worst off up off the floor. Um, there's a few things I need to sort out over there. I'm just going to slide this box up the corner for now. Get the, um, I think that's an advent if I remember correctly, up there out of the way and power supplies in that cupboard and things where they're meant to be and I might call it quits I think I've got dinner on that's what he's crazing me for, his dinner, so let's go do that shall we right there Oof. I don't know if I'm going to mum's tomorrow or not I have absolutely no idea. Not till I speak to her later, at least. Let's uh, turn the sausages. You get a proper pair of tongs that I can grip these buttons with. looks like a shit tip in here but not as much of a shit tip as it did earlier. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the amplifier yet. That might get stuck up there somewhere out of the way for now. Or even under there. I've got the shelf under there I can slide things onto. But, uh, I think I'll prefer up there out of the way. Yeah, looks like an um access the window and yeah I'm going to get a small two seater sofa to go in this gap here uh, if I have to move that cabinet along I will that's not a problem um, so yeah definitely getting somewhere <laughs> so next job well I can get an extra pair of hands over here to help me is uh, take the frame of the sofa downstairs out of the friggin way because it's on my land and I actually hate having things on my land mm -hmm. oh dear give my gut a rest as well because I've been doing all this with a sore gut anyway that's what it's looking like so far I can't actually get to the Lego desk at the moment <laughs> um, as far as I know my laptop's working it isn't at the moment because it's not plugged in but it does work uh, Yeah, I've got to run an extension lead from that under this ta under the table to the end there to run the um, lights when I get them up. But I might actually change the lights altogether. Uh, I don't know. Just having two spotlights like that at the end there looks rather untidy, but I don't know. I've got that um, two foot fluorescent I was thinking of uh, screwing up under there and then I could put um, just the one spotlight up there to light up this end, you know, that might work might make it look a bit tidier, I don't know haven't decided haven't decided anyway, I'm going to disappear so I can get my dinner 
I'm just going to finish a few bits off in the bedroom so I can at least get into bed tonight. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, if you have, if you, eh, try again. If you like the video, hit the like button and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.